really could have been a better run. It's a good uh, picture off this backside of it as well. Uh, you see it. Now, I'm thinking there's a chance if I'm a left tackle here that I'm probably going to get a rollover because of the spacing of this backer. The further back he gets here, okay, here or here, now I'm thinking I'm part of the pin crew, pin the backer. But right there in that situation, especially this style, that goes back to almost personnel. Uh, this guy coming over the top, and the backer makes a great play right here, all right? We want to be low to high with this right hand, okay? Because now you see how his right hand goes high, okay? We're missing all this surface area that we could connect with right here. If we go low to high and it's really belt loop to ribs to try and rip the kitchen sink off the wall and, and, and crease it here. And we got a good... Here's a pretty good look at it by the right tackle. Boom, he gets into the combo. I, you know, I, I think he can transition to the second level a little bit quicker here. But we're seeing the transition from him thinking pin the backer to now roll over. And I do like it on that clip and the finish right there to go ahead and crease the defense there. Baby. All right, here's a look at it on the rollover technique using a dart, okay, concept. And I think your best runs on dart, dart schemes really come when this guy over pursues and you're able to run him over, roll him over. So you see it right here. I would love a little bit more of a gallop into it and a down shoulder with it, but we're able to see the rollover aspect of it. And I think you're going to get it a lot more uh, in this odd picture for you guys that run dark quite a bit. Um, in the odd picture, majority of the time, you're going to get that Willie uh, running over.